Lisa Chrysler, you know that, right? I'm with Community Storytelling, and the stories that we have been telling have been so fabulous. And another one, another one to share with you today. Um, hopefully you don't know it because I want this to be a surprise, but meet my new friend, Alan Feinberg. And Alan and a couple of partners who he will tell you about came up with this fabulous free smartphone app called Discover Lost Gatos. I get that right? That's right. So That's tell right. us about this app. Oh, well, it's a free app that you can download to your smartphone or tablet. It's available for iPhone and Android. And it covers the history of our town from really the early days all the way up through about the early part of the, night of the 20th century. And we put it together as just sort of a labor of love because we all love history, we all love this town, and we want people to experience it the way we have. And designing it not only for visitors, but also for residents to sort of reawaken the passion for the remarkable history of our terrific town. So who's the we? We, Sandy Decker and Peggy Conaway Bergtold. Sandy is a former mayor, yes. former planning commissioner, uh, and a friend. And she and I were having coffee one morning and I was telling her that, you know, I see all of these people taking pictures of all these buildings that we have in town. So you saw me the other day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> everybody's got, a, everybody's got a, photo, a, a camera in the pocket. Yes. So, well, you know, they're taking pictures. I'll bet they don't know about the remarkable the history, stories. Sure. And it's not just the landmark itself. Oh, there's a pretty building. Use an example, Palacio Restaurant. Yes. That Queen Anne. Uh, Victorian that's we call the last Victorian on North Santa Cruz. Everybody stops to take a picture of that. Does anybody know who built it and why? No, I just know it used to be the chart house. And, and, yeah, <laughs> and before that it was a funeral home. Yes. And you, you dial back into this, the history of that house a little bit and you realize it was built by this remarkable woman. And I, I'll, I'll get to her later if we have time. Um, so Sandy and, and I were talking about it and she said, well, you know, why don't you do something about it? And she's terrific about things like that. She's encouraging people to follow their passions and actually get up off the couch and well. put down the coffee and do something. She introduced me to Peggy Conway Bergtold. Peggy is the author of five books on the history of Los Gatos. Wow. And former library director and passionate about history as well. And I thought I'd approach Peggy and see if I could use some of her content well, she was so enamored with the project, she decided to write all new material. Uh -huh. So Peggy and Sandy and I embarked on a mission about, uh, oh, it's almost two years now. It took us a year to put this thing mm -hmm. together. I bet. I didn't know anything about an app or how to build one, but fortunately there are resources out there available to help you do that. So I did the design and development mm -hmm. of the walking tour. Peggy wrote the content for uh, the narrator and Sandy helped to sponsor it and get it off the ground and introduce us to all the right people that we needed to launch it. It's totally free. There are no ads. You don't buy the, you don't get the free version and then forced to upgrade to right. the premium version. There's no obligation at, at, at all. We wanted it to be a gift. So it's three separate walking tours yes. of Los Gatos. Right. Each tour focuses on a different part of town and a different aspect of history. There's the Heart of Los Gatos tour, which covers the area immediately around the town plaza, and it should be of special interest to railroad enthusiasts and people who are interested in, in the Los Gatos Mountains. Uh, there's the Cradle of Los Gatos, which begins at the site of Forbes Mill and covers the early history and important locations on the east side of town. And then there's the uh, Los Gatos, the Gem City tour, which takes you through the historic downtown commercial district. And I didn't even know this until I was talking with Sandy about it, but downtown Los Gatos is registered on the National uh, register of Historic Places. Really? It's a registered com uh, registered historic district. And so that should be of interest to people who are interested in history and architecture. And somebody's guiding you, tell, talking to you the, the whole there, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. There's a GPS-driven map that takes you from stop to stop. Once you reach a stop, you press the play button, listen to the narrator. Wow. And thanks to Peggy Conaway's efforts to put together a searchable database of images, at the library, 
we have over 100 restored vintage photos that you swipe through when you're standing at that place looking at whatever it is the narrator is telling you to look at. How much at. fun is we that? We wanted to make it fun. We yes. wanted to make it family friendly, easy to use, and fun because there's so much story to tell about the people that inhabit this town. And, you know, the only other way to do it is to, with apologies to Peggy, go read a book. Right. Right. Uh, or, or go to a museum. And how about walking around with your earbuds? So you did a lot of research yeah. as well. So, okay, tell us, give us a few little secrets. Oh. Tell us what you, you've lived here how many years? Oh, 30. So what did you find out? Give us a few secrets that you found out while making the app. Oh, well, first of all, one of my favorite stories is about John Bean. He's the inventor of the bean sprayer. John Bean was an older gentleman. He was in his 60s when he retired here from the Midwest uh, for his health, which many people did in the late 19th century. Bought a house in an almond grove and decided to uh, just kick back. Well, the trees were infested with scale, San Jose scale insects, and the pump sprayers at the times, the ones that you go like this, were ineffective in eradicating the scale because they couldn't reach the top of the right. trees. So he used his knowledge from his time as a pump maker and <laughs> cobbled together in a shed behind his house the bean spray pump, which had, was the first continuous high pressure pump that could reach the top of the trees at all the cracks yes. and crevices. Well, people found out about it. It took off like wildfire. Soon he was selling them all over the world. And his company, his little startup company, the Bean Sprayer Company, merged <laughs> with another company that made canning equipment. They went public on the New York Stock Exchange. Oh my. And oh. <laughs> they decided to change the name because you know, going public as bean sprayer, and it doesn't do it. So well, they I thought they'd something. call their company the Food Machinery Corporation, or F FMC. Or FMC. So most people don't know that FMC started in a shed behind John Bean's house on Bean Avenue in the Los Gatos Almond Grove. And it, today it's a multi-billion dollar corporation uh -huh. that employs tens of thousands wow. of, of people around the world. Do we still have that almond grove too? In and Los we Gattis? still have the almond grove thanks to, in no small way, uh, oh. um, Barbara Spector when she was mayor and the town council voted that historic, uh, almond, voted the almond grove to be a historic district. Wow. The, and we could talk it was forever. preserved. We could talk forever. And you know, that could have been torn down, bulldozed, all of those beautiful old restored homes now might have been bulldozed had it not been for the effort to make it, his, um, have it not been the effort for the town council to recognize that the, what they wanted to do back then was to build out the downtown district so that Los Gatos could support a population of 90,000 people. What is the population 90, now? 90,000 is more like 30. Yeah, that's what I thought, you know. a third of that. And, it, it, it's remarkable to think that just a few visionary people back in the day could make a difference between the Los Gatos that we enjoy today and the one we are glad that oh, never was. Amazing. Amazing. Like I said, I could talk to you forever, but we've run out of time. We've all got to get this app now. So tell us again. It's Here's how to get the app. Go to the App Store. If you have an we Apple, all have the App Store on our smartphone, right? or if you have uh, an Android phone, yes, it's Google Play. Okay, search for Discover Lost Gatos. Don't forget the T. <laughs> Don't forget the T. Discover Lost Gatos, and it's a, a free. If it's a free download, I'd love to get people's feedback on the app. And there's a Facebook page, of course. Got to have a Facebook right? page. So it's at Discover Lost Gatos. Love it. Love it. We won't be lost anymore after we take your three guided tours. Nope. And now that you found me, I'll be glad to tell the story to anybody else who listens. So if there are viewers out there who'd like a custom tour or for me to come in and talk to their group or perhaps put together uh, a virtual tour where you don't even have to walk around, you can just take all of the historic stops. Just yeah. remember, you heard it first here, right here at KCAT.
KCAT TV 15. That is wonderful, Alan. I, I'm going to download the app as soon as I'm done with this. And I'm going to take three of the tours, right. all three of them. They're only a half hour each. So you know what? Do you have a story like Alan has? I mean, this is such a fabulous story. Community storytelling. Everyone has a story. What's yours? Go to kcat.org. Nominate yourself or someone else, and you'll be sitting in Alan's chair next time. Thanks for watching. KCAT TV 15.